please go through our previous lecture for a brief primer on razor pages that will help you get started let us write a simple razor application that displays your name on a web page open visual studio to create a new project pick asp.net core as your starting template this as we have picked and then click next the next button is somewhere here this screen opens type any name for your project and click create select an empty template an empty template is the best thing to learn a new technology keep all these defaults don't change them these can be adjusted whenever we deploy our application to a real hosting click create once again click create and wait for the solution explorer to be ready if things go right you will be able to get a solution explorer like this we have already explained this structure in good detail in our starting lectures but if you haven't seen the earlier lectures there is nothing much to worry as of now it is not much required at this stage the only file that we are going to be concerned today is the startup.cs file this is the only file that we will be working with today we will be adding two statements in this file but let us now begin to add a razor page because our web application is based on razor pages a razor app is built with razor pages so we have to add razor pages asp.net core requires that all razor pages be placed inside a folder called pages so our project needs the presence of this folder right click the project to add a folder called pages like you are seeing here this is the folder that you have to add the runtime the asp.net core runtime looks for razor files in the pages folder it will look for your razor files in this folder your requests are going to reach this this uh, folder and razor files will be searched here so we have to now add our razor pages to this folder right click the pages folder to add a new item add a razor page to the pages folder right click on the pages folder to add a new item it add new dialog add new item dialog opens scroll through the list find a razor page keep the name as index because this is the home page that we are going to create and then click add when you add you will see this sort of a thing opens what is this come to the pages folder index.cshtml file is there index.cshtml.cs file is there this will open for you and as we explained in our basic primer you will see files two files of the same name index our razor page they will appear under the pages folder this is the index.cshtml file and a class is also paired with it index.cshtml.cs file this is the paired file refer to the primer lecture that i gave previously and you can see index.cshtml.cs file it contains a class that is also paired with your razor page today we are going to keep things as simple as possible we will not use this class today so we will delete this class away we will delete this class away we are not going to use this one today so select select your file and delete it and after you delete this screenshot is a bit wrong so this will not be there after you delete open the index.cshtml file you will be seeing this one this remove this statement at model this directive remove it off because this statement this directive is referencing the class that we have already deleted 
so remove it and also remove any other lines because we are only adding some static tags to our file so after deletion and all you will see a very clean page like this and here you will see index.cshtml and this additional is there let's not talk about this now so your pages folder will contain your only razor file and this razor file is opened here this add the page is called the page directive this must be present as the first directive of any razor file so this will be present and must be shown as like this we are adding plain HTML to keep the things simple we are adding plain HTML only we will not add any dotnet code no C sharp code is added so you must have already seen that we deleted our C sharp class already we are adding plain HTML only so to your razor page type any HTML hello world or my name is XYZ add this to your CSHTML file now the last thing is to edit the startup class we have to tell ASP.NET Core that the requests for the index home page this is localhost slash index this request or by default simply localhost slash this request should reach our razor page called index for that we have to edit our startup class open the startup.cs file you will see this code already created for you by the visual studio default template we will add one statement in at this point so this is zoomed I have zoomed it so we have to add one statement here services dot add razor pages we will add this line so that additional services for razor pages are added the second thing is that come to the configure method this is already there this is make sure that this is available at least without these things will work but this should be there and in the use endpoints you will add map razor pages this adds razor pages as the endpoint this ensures that the request for the index root this is the request for the index root it reaches your index razor page if this is not there then the request will not reach your razor page so I will show you clearly this one and this one these are important after this run the application and you will see hello world my name is XYZ so this is how we have created our first razor application in which a razor page has executed for us thank you